All right, let me ask you, when does the end game start? Because it is approaching. Right now, I need to be buffering some of these. Come on. Some of these, not too many at all. And really, I need to be buffering some of these because we're going to need them in hand in a minute. I think I can just stuff it right here. Right? We're going to need some of the fancier quantum processors both for research. I don't know why. I do know why. Because I wanted to build up a buffer of quantum circuits. There. That'll be fine. Okay, and uh, so that's that one. And then we need more thorium. The end game approaches. There's not that many things that still need to be done to win. So in this episode, we're just doing housekeeping. We're just doing more of the same to be sure when we want it, we've got what we need. And then soon it will be time to start working on endgame thorium for sure. When you start making thorium, you've hit the end game. There's no question about that. We're almost ready to do it. Just got a few more things that need to get done. Like making more of whatever that machine makes. With uh, two inputs. Bounce it off of this belt. Right. And then kick it out to that belt. little interruption there. Uh, we want the output to go there. And it'll go up. And what is this about? Oh, this was about when we buffered it earlier because we didn't know for sure. We didn't know for sure. So thorium dust and cells ought to be producing thorium cells. But instead, this guy's snorting up all of them. Which is good, except not very efficient. Wow, look at that. This buffer is completely overloaded. So yeah, we're going to do a few things that are going to put us in a good place to win. Any minute now, we're going to win. There, I'll get that belt a little busier will allow that other thing to get busy toward the day we empty this box. Alright, so you're making stuff when you eventually get enough. And you're not. You're fired. Purple arms. So we're going to take care of making more thorium. And then we're going to fix a thing, or three, like this belt is not any good, this belt's too slow, but we don't, I mean it's important, but it's not that urgent to pump these out, although maybe it will be when we fix an error last night, look at this, move that belt over because we put this in the wrong place, so you want to watch me fix that? I don't think so. I'm just going to jig jiggle it over one. But for now, what we can do is... What can we do? We can... Not worry about it? We can... Not worry about it because we're consuming all that we make. Yeah, we're sitting there waiting on thorium cells. We're consuming all that we make. And in a very... Right? Efficient fashion. We're 
taking in six of them to produce six of the outputs. That's exactly what we want. Wasted a few, but who cares? Because we got plenty. Okay, so that's that one. Check. We buffered the research. More thorium. Hard metal parts. Hard metal parts from stainless steel hammers. Nope. Not enough stainless steel. We get some hammers and some cutters going. Let's just take them. Nah, we're kind of getting full. Garbage. We don't want that in our hand. We don't want that in our hand. We don't want dirt. We don't want dust. We don't want organics. Uh, one more thing. We don't want granite. We do want to be building a lot of stainless junk, like a couple of hammers and an aluminum or less cutter. Aluminum cutter to make the amazing. Look at all that heavy metal. We're gonna kick them out with the good arms that we don't have enough of. We're gonna kick it out from the buffer. Oh, and we ran out of stone. See, this episode is just housekeeping. Just setting the stage. But yeah, I was thinking about it last night. The end approaches. There won't be that many more episodes of Evo Run, Evo Space. And then, by then, I haven't checked in on the Discord because I've had to stay offline, but uh, I believe we're going to get a playable test version of the next rev. If I remember the schedule, if I remember the commitment from Wavelet, the developer, he said two weeks, so it'll be well-timed. We still feel like playing after we're done. Try something new. Two of those hammers. Be all right. Two of those hammers. Always build two of everything. All right, so some of it comes out and gets worked up by cutter. Always build two of everything unless you're sure you don't want to. Then you can just build one. Something like that should produce what we want with some good motors that we're out of. Because we're out of copper wire. Not the most interesting episode, but you know, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. We're gonna finish that out and then we're going to. Oh, yeah, there's another little mess to clean up. This is not a mess, this is the future. But I do have another mess that needs to get cleaned up. Alright, so we want. Kinetic from electricity. We do have another mess that must be cleaned up. Whatever. Don't have enough cable, really. Might have enough. Nope. Just go get more. Put more stuff in your pockets. And speaking of, I think we can get bigger pockets. Not that we need it, but...
shortly we will. Right now we're getting the tokamak, the fission reactor cable, cable. because we don't need to carry around plain stone. Enough cable to get these things running. Shift, fine. And then let's just not worry about running it upstairs because we're not going to need to come here so often. Oh, it's slow. It's so slow because it's so hard. It's hard to smash. I want to interrupt this key research so badly. But I also don't want to wait forever. But we don't need a lot. But not. All right, so we'll come back to this in a minute and see how it's doing and add some more hammers. The other thing we need is producer gas. Neutronium comes from producer gas plus an obscene amount of power. And this isn't easily fixed, is it? Never regret leaving a little space and doing things properly. So what can we do about this? Basic machines. Let's just make insane hammers. So what can we do about this? We've got methane, some methane, coming into a thing that makes producer gas that has too much of it right now. No real good clean way to get to it except to rebuild stuff. I guess I could pull this back to expose that pipe. I pulled this reactor back one. Let's try it. What was he making? He was making these from producer gas and catalyst cell is the inputs. These two are inputs to that, to that is clearly the output, the ethylene. All right, so, so I think we're not completely screwed, just kind of. We're producing ethylene into that pipe from this pipe. <laughs> Come on, it's just a crappy pipe. It doesn't have to be bigger than that. Let us get to it. Sure. So that is the input to a to a reactor, which can sit like this, along with not oops, not this or this, but this. Into the pump. Come on. Into the pump. Producing ethylene. Boom. As its output. Into that pipe. Isn't that just as good as it was before? I think so. Make me some ethylene. Okay, and now we've got access to producer gas. Right cheer. Into a container that doesn't have to be any good at all, just so we can measure our overflow. Buffers hide problems. That's a rule that you learn in a game like this, is buffers hide problems. You run up a big buffer and you're like, oh, I have so much. And then later you're like, oh, I don't have enough. And if you didn't have a buffer, wouldn't be confused. Make hard metal. We need the hard metal hammer. We need the hard metal 
Metal Hammer. So keep researching. Ugh. You can have it, but it's expensive. Or you can just have a Tokamak. Not even worry about a thing. Okay, so I can make a titanium hammer. I can make a couple titanium hammers. Which will get this done in our lifetime. That about why didn't that get any? Well, good timing. Purple hammer. When I was building this pattern, but I accidentally did it differently the other day, and it turned out really cool. You say, you say, you say, where's my hammers? You say, I'm going to put it in here and here with decent engine. And then it's just a little bit easier to connect the power to it because it's all in one place. So there's a pro tip, as it were, which it isn't really. But something to make it just a little nicer. Okay, and so all this was to make parts. We're gonna get a part. Probably, probably should get a part. Why didn't he get a part? Why didn't he grab that? Can't an aluminum cutting machine cut hard metal? Of course it can. Don't we have hard metal? Yeah. Don't we have? Our stuff hooked up properly? Nope. Don't we wish we could make a better cutter? Probably. There, now he'll start making parts. He's gonna take the sheet, the plate, make a part, put it in a box, check. Research, buffer it, more thorium. Hard metal parts. The line reactors, fixed producer, gas, and plastic. We did that. Align the reactors. We can align the reactors or not. Yeah, I think it's time for that tokamak. What does it take to make one of these? It takes these things. Oh man, we're going to be all day getting this. That's going to buffer up eventually. We do have reinforced concrete in hand. You see it there? Yes. Shoot. I hate, I hate it. I try to desperately avoid, of course, like everyone, building wrong. This was supposed to be a line. Now I've got this in the way. And I'm sitting here waiting on research. But more importantly, I'm real quick, I'm going to be waiting on a ton of heavy metal production that I've got coming out of one thing. <laughs> Let's take a pause and think about this. Well, clearly the answer is produce more hard metal. Whatever it takes. So what will it take? It will take running the dust into another furnace. Running this dust which we can easily extend to into another furnace and then putting it on this belt, which we can easily extend to, and then ugh, and then freezing it. Okay, so it's going to take <laughs> It's going to take smelting it and then freezing it and adding it to this belt that it doesn't even exist. Whatever. 
boy, this is one. This is one episode that my instinct is just don't even forward all the little steps because the content just feels marginal. Watching me fly around and do stuff. Reinforce concrete, but we just need for a smelter, we just need regular concrete. Got plenty of that. And then some stainless and some wire. What research just finished? Tokamax? Yes. And we're going to need neutronium production in our future, so let's knock that out while we wait. Does it say parts? Yes. And copper wire, which is this one. Sure, let's let's make two. Let's optimistic. Let's be sure that when we do this that we're not going to have any dust buffered up. Any of this dust that comes from down there in a generous buffer? Nope. Sometimes I just wonder if I know how to play this game. Actually, it's a speed run, so I do know how to play this game. Just, just moving a little too fast. Sometimes. This. Comes out of one of these. Into a not-so-generous buffer. to pull it out. There. Well, we're buffering that. We should probably buffer this too because we're going to need more of these before we're done. This isn't going to last. What is that? A refrigerator. That's a mixer. An aluminum mixer. Which looks like the state of our art for the technology. So we'll put down two. And we'll just put down two. Look at our inventories fall. Sources are we short on? All right, belts are the gold box. Inventory is so full. Don't need to carry around those. Go ahead while we're doing nothing and produce some. Let's go all the way to what we need. That actually could be enough for Tokamak, maybe. No, we're going to need 40 sheet and 100. Whatever. we got some space. We don't need to carry that with us. We don't need to carry that with us. We don't need to carry that. There, there's a little working, little room to work. See anything else? Reflector cells? No. Silicon? We're not making any more solar, I don't think. Oh, I don't need to carry a catalyst cell. All right, so there's a little room to work. A little room to carry some more belts. Oh, look at that. If you do hit the wrong spot, it looks like it doesn't matter. Out, out, in, in. Whatever you're doing, you do it, and you. There, that box is going to fill, baby, until we get 
until we get that reactor going. And we also want, there's this R key. I never use it. Because it doesn't do what I think it should do. Okay. Some more room to work. Just explain on Discord my trouble with this. What I want to do is run a line out to here. That time it worked. Sometimes it goes down. I'm going to capture that on video. I want to run this line over to here. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't always work the way I think it should. And then jet this out. We're skipping over that. We're going to want that about there. Uh, to a couple of stainless steel industrial smelter. If I put it there, I won't be able to get the wires to it. So I'll do it there. And then we need some heat, not fluid furnace. We need some more of these. We need some more of those. Can we spot them here? Yes. Can we make them? Nope. Because we don't have enough copper wire. Mm -hmm. Someday this game's going to get the logistics bot mod. My man is working hard to give us mods capability, and somebody's going to make a logistics bot that just brings us what we want all the time. Someday. Oops. Thorium cell. Out of my hands. Uh, we were making, we wanted to make. What was it we wanted to make? Come on. Oh, the electric furnaces. enough. That's enough electric furnace. Boom. Boom. I forget how the fission reactor gets its... I think it's just electric. I think it's just direct. You just plug it in and you're good to go. Clearly, we don't have enough room to work. I want to connect this to this. Sure, that's just an easy shift key away. Nice, nice. All right, a couple of those with the freaking heaters in the right place, in the right orientation. Should wire up nicely. You know what? Can you get to here? It's not how I wanted it, but it'll work. And then, and then, need to get that guy plugged in. And he is. Don't worry about a thing. Just willy nilly. this we should start smelting hot metal hot hard metal ingot yeah. control C control V not enough items because you didn't run your belt far enough because you got had to stop and make some space Okay, okay. Does that say zero? Because this isn't connected to that. It is. Yes, yes. Not enough heat for doing what we're trying to do. 
And it's not about the electricity. It's about the electricity. All right, so that was on my list, and now's a fine time to do it. We're gonna we're gonna finish our thought here with a proper output line. a proper input line into a refrigerator. Is that okay? Sure, why not? Your job is to freeze. Oh, come on, cursor. There we go. Freeze those when supplied with, I guess, the motor runs a, what do you call it in a freezer? What do you call it in a freezer that makes it cold? Not a pipe. You need a motor to turn a condenser? Yeah, that sounds right. Yes. And then he outputs right there to right there oh, look at how nice that lines up all right so there's a little more hard metal this is going to buffer but i'm not going to stop and make one of these because i don't have enough for it and what we really want to do is fix our electricity which also will require the titanium let's take all of this we can get because we're going to make a industrial steam turbine, an industrial boiler, and then we'll see. Then we will see. So that's cold because this ran out of something. It needs more plutonium. We ran out of plutonium dust. Oh, right, right, right. We got to break these up. We got to get more. We have to. Is this full? Nope. We need to make more. What? What is it? I can't make more because I can't dump my plutonium dust onto this belt because you switched it from input to output and didn't finish wiring it up. Yeah. Get those separators working again. We'll have some more plutonium in a minute. This box is obsolete and replaced by... I don't want to mess with that belt. If I put a box here, it won't have anything to do with that belt, right? For sure, the wrong thing won't happen if I put the box here. Alright, so that's why Neutronium stopped. This will get it going again. And we'll have a little bit of a buffer, but I know we need to be I know we need to be separating out these dead cells faster or more efficiently, or just doing it a lot. <laughs> would be the scientific term. I know we need to, so let's just do it. We need the good motor. We need the good industrial electric engine to drive a separator. Find it. Build it. Extend the belt. And get some filter arm action going. So, this isn't going to fit. This is not going to fit very nicely. If we plunk it there, we can get the power off the side. And if we put the separator here, 
We can. We can squeeze it in. It'll be fine. To the left. With some power. I probably always work a little too hard with this power routing. Separating at a nicer pace. Oops, that needs to be a filter arm. It needs to be a filter arm for the cells. And then we need a little bit of dust. We just need one dust. Not 15 dust for our other filter. We need a dead, an empty cell for our filter. We need a filter arm here and here. The bottom one filters, put it on the bottom. And the top one filters, put it on the top. And since it's a little bit away, put a belt on it. Boom. Got that running. Got that running. It's still not going to be enough, but at least we're using the right motor, aren't we? Look at that. Even the purple titanium industrial electric engine isn't strong enough to reliably drive stainless steel industrial separator so here's what we do about that here's what we can do let's go ahead and build one just for fun while we're waiting uh logistically speaking research wise we need a flywheel badly We're going to take and make some steel into flywheels and then split it, split the output of two of these jobbies. While we're waiting, what are we waiting for? Oh, the hard metal. Uh, what did I just say we're going to do? We're going to build another one of these with titanium and gold wire. Titanium. Plate, plate, and gold wire. Quasar, you're venting, you're venting oxygen to make hydrogen, and you're venting hydrogen to make oxygen. What are you doing? We took the easy way out is what we're doing. Okay, so two of those into one of those with a flywheel, maybe two or three. Here's how we do this. We're going to want our separator there. We're going to want whatever. We're going to want. Two titanium industrial electric engines connected with flywheels, which I like to put on like that, and like that, and one more, like that, is like a like the belts. It's a line of kinetic. Uh, we got to move that, really? The answer is yes, so just do it. Which way does the arrows go? It starts over here. Doesn't go like this. But instead... It's this with a thing. One, two, 
surely that's out of our way. Go about here. This goes down. Goes like that. This is wrong. Down. Like that. Now. Now, I was saying... These motors, which this one can't get any power where it's at, so let's do it again. These motors, which get some power. And set. Come on, Robert. I just nuked that. I just nuked that separator, which was doing things, just not very quickly. Okay, so I got room for the power, and I've got, I can do this, don't give up. One, two, these powered motors, engines. It's not really a wire, it kind of looks like a wire. These powered engines go into flywheels. Goes into a separator. all connected takes as input produces as output two things filter arms Produces his output. Get it? Get it? Got it. Didn't get it. Some of those, and we said empty cells. It's the other thing. In the two filter arms. belts like so out out it ain't working why isn't it working he's got the power he doesn't have he's got the power he doesn't have any input because his arm's not in right said to the right hey now it's still not enough 50 percent 40 percent all right well you get the idea you just plunk down these flywheels can you see them spin from here i don't get it oh oh because oh, we're our electricity is lame when our electricity comes up, these flywheels will certainly provide enough power for this thing to run non-stop. How are we doing with our electricity, with our U-233? Not enough to make more of these. Oh, right, and I think I screwed this up too. No, I fixed it. When you give me enough U-233, I will produce heat like you've never seen before in your life. And U-233 comes a little bit from here, and it's off. It comes from here. We're waiting on plutonium cells. We're waiting on... Not empties. We're waiting on... Uh, I 
enough items. Plutonium dust. It's in the buffer. Did I steal from the buffer? No. Oh, because it's sitting in this box not doing anything. Um, can we fix it? Not really. Well, what did I say a minute ago? If we put a box here, it won't have any conflict with the thing above it. Which will give us room to take it out of the box. Oh no, where did it go? There it is. Why do I have why do I still have that one there? Didn't I set that filter? Now we're cooking. Cooking dust into cells. Didn't I set that filter properly? I did. I don't know how I ended up with an extra little stack of one. Don't want it. Need it over here. And then he'll make neutronium cell. And eventually we'll get enough to burn, to breed plutonium cell into U233. Another comeback in an hour situation. How's our come back in an hour situation over here? We're just kind of stalling or just doing some good things, important things, long enough to fill these boxes. So that we can make a tokamak. Gold wire, not enough. Plenty of gold wire. Concrete. Quantum processor and heat pipe. Hello. Uh, used up all of that. Okay, so I got enough heat pipe. Sixty. One hundred. Quantum processor, and we're golden. Just need another 18 quantum processor, which we can steal from our ready to go. I think we've stolen from that one before. Nope, we did a bunch of research and used them all up. What happened? Tokamak, hard metal fusion reactor. That's a great place to end this episode, this housekeeping episode.